Oh, don't mind me, you know, just putting my Chaos Cube back together for the 30th time today. Here we go. Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and welcome back to another Magic Review, where my job is to show you guys the latest and greatest magic on the market, and let you know whether or not I think it is something that you should be adding to your act. Now today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Chaos Cube by Alfonso Abajuela, which is based on the Enchanted Cube by Craig Nichols, popularized by Daryl. If you guys already own an Enchanted Cube, you are already familiar with this gimmick. This gimmick is identical to the Enchanted Cube. The only thing though that I really appreciate about this is that it has been updated that uses an RD cube now, the same cubes that like Henry Harrius uses in all of his cube effects. So if you have RD Insta, or if you have Venom Cube, uh, you can add this into your routine with those other gimmicks, and you can make a full on uh, show using all of these different gimmicks um, and using these cubes. Now, I'll give you guys a really quick little presentation of it and um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what you can do with this. But it's really simple. You see, you just give it a little twist just like this. You see how they're all kind of shuffled? With just a click of the fingers, you can actually solve the cube and show it all around that it is now completely solved. This is not an ordinary cube. This is gimmicked. So you cannot hand it out. Uh, it cannot be shuffled by the spectator and um, it's not really examinable. Now, I know a lot of people these days prefer to perform cube magic using a regular cube, whether you're doing cube three by Steve Brundage or you're using refractor or cube cards or any other number of Rubik's cube effects are out on the market using a completely ordinary cube some people prefer the freedom to have it be examinable. So what's the benefit of using this now? Well, using a gimmicked cube means you don't have to know how to solve a Rubik's cube. You don't have to memorize a ton of crazy algorithms or anything like that. And you don't have to risk having the spectator mix something up just because using this cube means that you can instantly solve the Rubik's cube because the cube does most of the work for you. Now, having said that, this is something that is going to take practice. There's angles that you need to worry about. You do have to memorize a couple of easy to do moves where you're mixing the cube in a specific way so that you're able to track where the shuffles are so that you can get the cube to the position it needs to be in so that you can perform the move that allows you to solve the cube. And basically what you're getting in this project is an enchanted cube, right? Again, the same gimmick been updated into an RD cube, a Rubik's Dream cube, and you're getting Alfonso's explanation on his work using said cube. So there's a lot of really cool things in this project. Let's talk about the tutorial itself. The video is about a half an hour or so long. It shows the performance as well as a variety of different ways uh, that you can perform the effect. He has a layer by layer solve where you solve the top layer, then the second layer, then the whole cube is solved. He shows you a couple of different ways that you can shuffle the cube. Uh, he teaches you a very easy to do version of this as well as a more advanced way to do this. So if you're an experienced cube performer, you can use the advanced shuffle and it really gives the illusion that you are completely shuffling this cube in a very random way and yet with just a click of the fingers you're able to solve it so let's talk about now um, some of the things that people have been saying about this that they don't like uh, i've been hearing a lot of people talking about how they do not like this for a variety of different reasons and i wanted to kind of add my two cents into the mix because i think a lot of people are being a little unfair uh, when it comes to this product. And the reason I think that they're being unfair is because I, myself, have performed with this for years. I mean, I was doing this before cube magic was really in the forefront of people's minds. Um, I first saw Garrett Thomas perform this at the Magic Castle like over 10 years ago. Uh, it was like, I don't know, 2007 or 2008 or something. Uh, I saw this being performed and he performed it 
for a packed room full of people in the close-up gallery and everyone absolutely loved it. Um, basically the same exact gimmick as this. Now, the routines were a little bit different. Of course, um, he was performing routines that Daryl had come up with and some of his own flavor on it, routines and ideas that he had come up with, uh, with this as well. Um, but the stuff that you're learning in Chaos Cube uses the same gimmick. Again, it's just Alfonso's approach to it and how he does all of this stuff. So you're learning his ideas, his shuffles, his solves, and all of that. So what are some of the things that people have complained about with this? Number one, it's not examinable. Let's put that on the shelf for a second because in a little while I'm gonna talk about how I make this gimmick examinable by performing it with another effect um, that's already on the market, combining those effects together, and then you can make this examinable, right? I mean, you can very easily do a cube switch. So you can hand out a cube, have it shuffled by a spectator, take it back, and in the act of turning your body or asking another spectator to come on stage, you can switch the gimmick uh, for the cube that was already shuffled and now you have the chaos cube in play, right? So having it examined and mixed by the spectator is possible. You will have to learn how to do a cube switch that's not taught here. Um, another thing that people complained about were the angles. This is a very angle sensitive thing. People have said that you can only perform it for the camera, like if you're doing social media, or you can only perform it for maybe one or two spectators that are in a very tight space, right? That isn't true. You can perform this to a wide audience. Now you can't really perform it surrounded. If you have spectators standing behind you looking over your shoulder, it's not really gonna work. This is an angle sensitive effect, but it's not as angle sensitive as some people are making it out to be. It's not like they have to be directly in front of you uh, in order for this to work. You can have a normal performing audience. If you're up doing like stand-up magic, for example, you're up on a, not even necessarily on a platform, but you're just standing in front of a bunch of people that are seated, you'll be able to perform this effect no problem as long as you're mindful of your angles. So let's put that to bed. It is angle sensitive, but not as angle sensitive as people make it out to be. Um, the other thing uh, that some people have talked about is that they're not a huge fan of the different solves that are included. Personally, I think that if you've never done this before and Alfonso is your first introduction to Cube Magic, I think using his methods is not uh, necessarily a bad thing. Now I will say, in my opinion, this is marketed as self-working, anyone can do it. Technically it's self-working going from mixed to solved don't really have to do anything but shuffling the cube is going to take a lot of practice even the easy to do version um is something that if you mess it up as you saw in my little intro uh there's not really any way to get out of it you do have to unscrew the cube take it apart piece by piece and reassemble it again uh, i've had to do that myself just in learning this a few times and it's a little bit of a pain in the butt but once you figure out how to take it apart and put it back together, I can take it apart and put it back together in like five, seven minutes or whatever, something like that. So it's not a reset that you would want to do in front of your audience. It's definitely a reset that you would have to do um, in the back before you perform or whatever. And I would recommend um, doing your best not to actually shuffle the cube. Uh, one thing that you can do is after you're done performing the effect, you can mix it and then hand it to a spectator to examine in a mixed state. And as long as they're not a Rubik's Cuber, someone that knows Rubik's Cube, they shouldn't really see anything wrong with the Rubik's Cube. I would say probably don't hand this to a Rubik's Cuber, someone that knows Rubik's Cube, because they will pretty much right away see, wait a minute, something's going on with this cube, right? The other thing, um, that they mentioned in the ad copy is that you don't have to know how to solve a Rubik's Cube to perform this. That is absolutely true. In fact, in my opinion, even if you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, that's not going to help you. Because let's just say you screwed something up, you mixed it up or whatever. Remember, this is a gimmicked cube. So even if you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube and you're going to try to put it back, it's going to be very difficult for you to do that. Even an experienced Rubik's Cuber might have some trouble doing that. Again, just because of the way uh, that the cube is set up. So I'm pretty much saying that you're gonna have to take the Rubik's Cube apart and put it back together if you wanna fix it. So do your best not to have it mixed up if possible. 
as far as the quality of the video, nothing to complain about. He's mic'd up. You can hear everything just perfectly. It's well lit. A uh, nice little backdrop behind him and all that stuff. You guys have seen clips uh, of the of the trailer here. It's pretty much the same setup for the explanation and everything. Tutorial is about 30 minutes or so, and you're going to learn a variety of different things taught by Alfonso himself. So, who is this for? I'm going to say this is for uh, someone that's maybe never done Rubik's Cube magic before that wants to dip their toe in. It's an easy entry point. It's only $25 at vanishinginkmagic.com. Um, it is fairly easy to learn for the most part. Again, it is going to take practice. It's not the type of thing that you push a button and toss it in the air and it does the trick for you. You do have to learn how to shuffle it properly. You do have to learn how to watch your angles. You have to learn how to perform the changes and all of that. So it is going to take some practice. Um, I think working professionals will get a lot of use out of this, uh, especially someone that knows how to control an audience. Again, people are going to want to take the cube. They're going to want to mix it. They're going to want to examine it, right? So I mentioned to you guys uh, that there is a way to make this examinable, like doing a cube switch, right? So let me walk you through my routine with this and um, explain how I use this in my act, right? So since this is an RD cube now, I am combining this with Venom Cube by Henry Harrius. So what I do is I take out the uh, Chaos Cube and the, the uh, Venom Cube. The Venom Cube gets handed out to a spectator. I tell them to shuffle it. I shuffle the Chaos Cube and I say, just do as I do. It's really simple. We're gonna solve this Rubik's Cube together in just a few moves. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Get the Chaos Cube into position. And I tell them, you see, all you have to do is just click your fingers and then I do the change and then the cube changes in my hands. Their cube doesn't change though, obviously, because they don't know what they're doing with the, just the Rubik's cube. I say, here, here, we'll do it again, we'll do it again. I shuffle the Chaos Cube. You see, you know what? Just position it so it's just a couple moves away. And then I do one, two, and I do the layer by layer solve. And I solve this and he does what I do, but it doesn't work for him, right? So I say, you know what? Here, let me help you out, okay? I take the Chaos Cube and I set it inside of my bag. I put it aside here. I go up to him, I shuffle the cube, and I say, you know what, I think you're thinking too much about it. You know, here, let's take it, put it behind your back, and I want you to mix it behind your back, and it's gonna come out soft. But not only that, I don't even want you to see what you're doing, and I put a blindfold on them. So now they're holding this Venom cube behind their back, they have a blindfold on, they're shuffling the cube. I say, I want you to shuffle it, shuffle it, shuffle it, and then when you feel that it's solved, I want you to stop and keep the cube behind your back, okay? So they do that, they stop with the cube behind their back, and then I get the spectators really excited, right? Like this is gonna be solved, he brings it out and it's not solved, right? So um, he's holding the cube now that's all mixed, and then I reach into my bag, apparently to take out the Chaos Cube, but I actually grab the Gimmick Venom Cube now. Uh, I show the, the Gimmick Cube and I want my audience to believe that it's the same Rubik's Cube, right? I say, so I just shuffled this not too long ago and you shuffled that behind your back. I said that they were gonna be solved, I just didn't explain how they were gonna be solved. You see, they actually are both in a solved state right now, just not in the way that you might think. And then I put them together and I show all of the sides match. And I say that they are solved in the sense that they're identical and they match each other. And then that's how I'm ending that. Um, and then you can hand out the chaos cube right which is the other venom cube to them to to take a look at and now they've technically examined both rubik's cubes so that's how i do it um as for the angle situation uh, i'll let you guys see a little performance video here i'll add it right at the end for you i'll let you guys see a little performance video of baby mikey performing this back in the day uh, this is maybe eight 10 years ago, something like that, I, sh I filmed this video. So uh, I look a lot thinner and uh, no facial hair or any of that stuff. But I want you guys to see that if you control the environment, you can perform this. I'm performing this in uh, the living room for a family. I think there was like 12 or 15 people watching me perform this uh, at the time. Kids both and adults both absolutely loved it. So uh, stay tuned for that. 
in just a couple minutes, I'm gonna show you guys that video so you can see the routine that I used to do with Enchanted Cube before picking this up. Again, the exact same gimmick. And I also wanted to shout out some of our newest members. If you wanna support the channel and you haven't already done that, I welcome you to click the join button. We've got a lot of really cool stuff coming up. We got tutorials going in the tutorials playlist. You guys get early access to all of these videos. So you don't have to wait for them to premiere. You can watch it as soon as I upload it instead of having to wait a week or two weeks for it to come out. And you guys will also get access to the all new family meetings, which are live Q and A sessions right here on the channel where I am able to interact with you guys. You can pick my brain about whatever you want. And then on top of that, I'm gonna do a lecture where we discuss a topic that you guys uh, have the opportunity to decide on. So all of that stuff, all you gotta do is just click the join button. And at this time, I wanna welcome uh, some of our newest members. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Jim Ackerman, Anand, Spaghetti Ted, David of the Goldman Group, and Michael Doyle. Thank you guys so much for becoming members. Uh, you'll notice that these members are some of our inner circle members. We have some mob bosses and some mob lieutenants that have just joined and become members. They're getting access to uh, the live sessions, they're getting access to tutorials, early access videos, and if you become a mob boss or a mob underboss, you even get one-on-one -on -one access with me. So all of that stuff. If you can't join, but you want to be a part of this family anyway, all I ask is that you click the subscribe button, continue to like and uh, watch these videos. Hopefully you guys really enjoy them. And uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about these videos. If you have any questions for me or whatever, leave me a comment and I will go in there. I do my best to answer every single comment. Uh, so without further ado, Let's go ahead and see Baby Mikey, little Mikey O'Brien, performing uh, some Rubik's Cube magic. Again, using the exact same gimmick here eight or 10 years ago or so. Watch, watch the colors, watch the colors. What? Wow. Genius. Oh, wait. What? Here, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. <laughs> A lot, of people, oh, wait, I um, a lot of people want to know how it works, and some people think like, oh, I know how he does it. He just moves it so that's like a couple moves away from being sold, right? So like, for example, if I were to do that, then it would be like two, maybe two moves away, so like one, and then two, right? So that it's solved. No, what the hell are no, if a magician wanted to solve a Rubik's Cube, no, the truth is, if a magician wanted to do it, he wouldn't even make it up like this. He would just imagine in his mind that he were to solve it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 